Hi, this is Andrew Aversa, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the upcoming Impact Soundworks sample library, Rhapsody Orchestral Percussion. This is a comprehensive suite of both traditional and more unusual uh, orchestral percussive instruments. We have cymbals and gongs, auxiliary percussion, traditional drums like bass drums, snares, and toms, hand drums, marimba, timpani, tubular bells, crotales, xylophone, and glockenspiel. I'll be going through all these instruments individually as well as showing the user interface. Uh, as I play things, do keep in mind this is a beta. We're planning to release this instrument most likely in September, and uh, we are making minor modifications to the script, in some cases the sample mix, so just keep that in mind. Some of this may change to the final release. As you can see on the interface here, it's a fairly simple one-page affair, uh, not too complicated. You have a drop-down with each instrument, uh, each of which has individual volume, tuning, EQ, and ADSR. Also, the individual instruments can be sent to different contact outputs, which is a useful feature. Um, you can save patches for your instrument mix or for the mic mix, and you can import that to different projects. We also have three mic positions. We have close, stage, and hall mics, each of which can be mixed, turned on and off to save RAM, we have panning and stereo width for each. Now Rhapsody is, I think, a very versatile library because even the stage and hall mic positions are not too colored. In other words, you can fit this into any kind of music that you're doing, whether it's a traditional orchestral mock-up, something epic, something more like a small ensemble or a more intimate mix. By adjusting the different uh, mic positions that we have here or turning them on and off, you can achieve a, a wide range of sounds. So, we think that between the uh, versatility and then just the large collection of instruments that uh, you'll find this is a real Swiss army knife for orchestral percussion. So let's check out some of the cymbals and the gongs. I'm just going to play a little bit. Most of these have uh, left and right variations. And then choke keys. So here we have, by hitting the red key at the bottom here, I can choke uh, the cymbal. And then I can also uh, do a roll by pressing the roll key. And then that decays naturally unless I choke it. Anything with a roll has that sort of functionality. Sorry, my uh, D key is broken. That's why I didn't play in my keyboard. I need to replace it. That choke is just very useful for uh, demonstrative purposes. Obviously, we did capture the full decay of everything. This is a separate gong. And then we have our scrape. Moving on, we have our aux perk, and there's a lot of stuff here to play. We have uh, shakers. Tambourine. Tambourine roll as well. Various metals. Cowbell. Gotta have wood blocks. Gotta have cowbell too, I suppose. And all sorts of chimes. So really it's uh, quite extensive. You can click here and see the range of available instruments. And then each of these can be adjusted individually. So for drums, we have two different bass drums. Then we have uh, four different snares, different tunings. And then we have snare ensemble as well. Four different toms. 
or rather I should say three toms plus tom ensemble. So let's um, let's listen to what this sounds like uh, with the different mic positions. So I'm going to turn down the uh, stage and hall, and we'll just play the close snare. So th this is a very nice and dry sound. And then with the stage mic. Then lastly, the hall mic. So with all of these mics adjusted like this, Moving on to hand drums, we have uh, five different drums, the Cajon, Djembe, Darbuka, Congas, or Kungas, and Bongos. And these are pretty flexible. We actually got a lot of articulations here. Depending on how the drum was hit, we'll have all this in the manual, of course. Adjust the mic mix. So those are our non-tuned percussive instruments, pretty extensive. And then we also have our uh, chromatic and tuned percussion, such as the marimba. simple uh, but comprehensive so that actually has five velocity layers and five round robins as with most instruments here um, then we have timpani which is uh, left and right hand plus rolls tubular bells and cretales Straightforward enough. Cretales, which we'll probably adjust the tuning on for the final release just a little bit, but that is how they naturally sound. And we have the xylophone and Glock as our final instrument. So there you have a basic overview of Rhapsody Orchestral Percussion. Uh, I know I'm not the greatest keyboardist in the world, so of course we will have some demos as well prepared, which uh, will enable you to hear the library in the context of orchestral compositions. But I hope this uh, gives you a general idea of what the library sounds like, as well as the features of the interface. Rhapsody Orchestral Percussion is going to be available in September, assuming all goes well for contact and uh, you will be able to pick that up for a very reasonable price to be announced. Once again, this is Andrew Aversa with Impact Soundworks, and thank you for watching.